Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be reacting to The Strangest Addictions. On my strange addiction. So, let's go. My pretty girl. Lila prefers to sleep on me. But once in a while, she'll let me sleep on her back. If I could marry Lila, I would because I am that much in love with her. Oh my... Usually what I do is just store a late roll on it. And sometimes hair be in there and I have to pull it out. Okay, so this I should be able to lift it like that, that and nothing get caught on my tongue. But he is ready to go. My name is Jennifer and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. I like my mattress plain and straight up. I know mayonnaise, butter, <laughs> none of that. There's like a hard texture, like my taste buds are all, you know, kind of like, like a guitar. When I found out that Jeffrey eats mattresses, I was just dumbfounded. I was like, oh, it blew my mind that she did that. Square foot of mattress every day. Eight mattresses. <laughs> So big. I make sure, like, when my mom's not gonna be in her room, or I could be in her room. So, like, let's say when she get in the shower, um, tiptoeing in there to get it. The reason why I'm not eating my own mattress is because I ate my mattress already. <laughs> I start off with the good stuff. The good stuff to me is the pillow top itself. Then I go down to this part. I cut it. After that, I just start ripping it as I go. I get to a piece. I'm done with the mattress when it smells funny. Or if I get down to where it's just springs. I usually, when I crave to eat some mattress, it usually be after 2 o'clock after I eat. I, I'm urged. I need an urge. I got to have it. got to have it. For some reason, after sex, I would want some. <laughs> the side effects of eating mattresses, just, gas is really the only one you have. It enters my body and leaves my body. It goes through my, my system and goes out. <laughs> I'm very concerned about her health and like her digestive system. Cause I have seen it in, in the toilet. It comes out in whole pieces. It was all the sponges I was eating. I was like, it clogged up the toilet like it's just sitting there. If I was that desperate to get it out, I could take it and wash it, do everything I did to it, and I could use it again if I wanted, if I was that desperate. Ain't that, I mean, ain't that strange. sit in the back seat and it was like sponge down there and I just picked it and took it and was like just chewed on it I've eaten couches, box springs chairs but for the last 10 years mattresses has just been my thing But now she's on my show. It's embarrassing. I couldn't just come out and be like, yo, I eat mattresses. Can't do that. It's not even all my family knows. My name's Kyle. I'm 31. I live in Pittsburgh. And I'm addicted to dating older women. <laughs> Much older women. Like 60, 70, 80 year old older women. I love everything about older women. I love the smell. I love the feel. I love the mentality. I love dentures. Women, you know, they can be self-conscious about dentures. Ladies, I promise you, telling your man that you have dentures will not turn them off. It'll put a smile on his face. It'll put a smile on his pants. His oldest girlfriend ever was 91. Wow. I'm on my state website right now, and there's a lady on here named Karen. She absolutely has a look that I'm attracted to. She has the platinum hair. She has a great smile. She looks very pretty, very adventurous. So I'm going to send her an email. There's a lot of terms for sexy older women. There's MILF, saber-toothed tiger. I've also heard cougar. My favorite term, I'll probably say it would be silver fox, because the silver fox relates back to the platinum hair, and that's what really turns me on. Uh, so. 
so I just sent an email to Karen, and um, hopefully she responds. Yeah, she's gorgeous. The first time I realized I was the Shrek old woman, I was in sixth grade. There was a really, really sexy teacher, and she was probably about 65. She had the platinum hair, she was top heavy, and she was just gorgeous. Most of the people in my life, my family and my friends, they all know how I am and, you know, my dating preferences. There is one friend, though, my buddy Rich. He keeps setting me up on these dates with these different girls, and they're all way too young for me. So, how's work, man? Oh, you know, the usual. Same old, same old. How are those two newbies doing? I met Kyle at my job. We both uh, are emergency dispatchers. I've known Kyle for about nine months, so... It's a new friendship. Uh, Kyle, I'm gonna tell you something. I know how, like, you know, you and my other buddies have not you guys have actually met my girlfriends before. That's true. Yeah. I date older women. Okay, how old? Generally, they're 60 plus most of the time. Like, 6 0, right? 6 0. That's, that's a big stream. What you're telling me is that you're basically obsessed with grandma love. Yeah, I would say I was addicted to the silver foxes. When he told me he was addicted to grandmas, I was just completely shocked. Like, blew my mind out of the water. How does that even work with the intercourse kind of thing? It works very well. I mean, you don't just wake up one day and you're like, you know what? I'm 65 and I'm done having sex and I'm just going to close up shop. I just don't understand. How can you pass up like a young girl for something that's just not as appealing, I suppose? I, I don't know. If that's where you're wrong. The young girl is not as appealing, like you just said. I just don't get it. I just don't get it at all. Some men like blondes, some men like brunettes, some men like men, some men like fat women. I like older women. In the future, if you want to set me up with, you know, whoever, when you're talking to these girls, instead of being like, hey, go up, my friend Bob, be like, hey, um, um, is your grandma a widow? <laughs> My name is Mark, I'm 20 years old, and I'm in a relationship with 15 inflatable animals. My inflatables are the funnest creatures I have to hang out with in my life. I'll eat with them. Wait, you want my food? You get your own. Watch TV together. Be fine, find a show you like. If I bathe my inflatables, it's good sure. If I do take my inflatables out swimming. Mark's addiction to inflatables began six years ago when he purchased a whale for his pool. Since then, the 20-year-old college student has added 14 animals to his inflatable family and even prefers them over people. The thing about inflatable pool toys I love is that they're soft, they're cuddly. The bigger they are, the better they are. Kind of means there's more to love. And it's really nice to have somebody to talk to. No, I mean, you don't get into my soda, okay? When I first found out about Mark's inflatables, um, I thought that's strange, or having you be into something that's not really real. Mark first turned to inflatables for love and affection when he was 14 years old. My mother really wasn't there for me when I was a child. First time I hugged my inflatable whale, I actually started feeling all that love and compassion that I never got from my mother. Now he's so dependent on his inflatables, he can't be separated from them for more than a day. When I'm at school, I start missing them, and it's almost like if I'm going a little bit crazy. Hey, Charlie. Once I go home, basically give him a hug, give him a kiss, spend like family time together. Okay, we can talk more about you if we want. Let's say every one of my inflatables has a different personality. A little down daddy, don't you? Some like different types of music, some don't. Some like to just be lazy and sleep all day. I would say they get along together pretty well. While Mark never tries to play favorites, Lila the dragon holds a special place in his heart. She basically is like a wife to me. She's very pretty, and some of the sweetest eyes and smile that, quite frankly, I've, I've ever seen. You're my pretty girl. Oh my God. Lila prefers to sleep on me, but once in a while, she'll let me sleep on her back. If I could marry Lila, I would, because I am that much in love with her. But Mark and Lila haven't taken their relationship to the next level yet. Me and Lila Dragon 
we don't have sex together. We keep our relationship clean. And we just kiss and hug. That's Mark so dependent on his inflatables, the thought of losing them sends him into a panic. I don't talk about it much, but I had to get rid of one of my inflatables. He would always get leak after leak in him. So after a while, both me and him kind of just decided, you know what, let you go. I'm still trying to get over it today. I'm concerned that Mark might be a little bit too reliant on the inflatables, especially if like, he wants to have a successful future with other humans. I know I'm not normal. I do love something that's a bit strange, but that's who I am. I don't see my life without inflatables. My name is Julius. I'm 62 years old, and I'm addicted to balloons. Okay. They're beautiful. They're soft, Nothing smooth, wrong, like delicate. Balloons. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive. But sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. My first reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical one. Why? I, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Julius is so addicted, he even has an entire room dedicated to balloons. This is my balloon sanctuary. Okay. I sleep in my balloon weird. room every night. Weird, but not too weird so far. When I wake up in the morning, it's like being in balloon heaven. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons is also a sexual love. Mm. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get oh. aroused. Oh my! No. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way, it can take a lot of abuse. I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? Yeah, but a balloon? Fuck no. There's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons. But there's two groups of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloons. And you got your non-poppers. I'm a non-popper. Julius's addiction to balloons started when he was hospitalized at just four years old. My mother come to visit one time and she gave me a, a real nice blue balloon. But that night, the nurse grabbed it and I heard the balloon pop. So after she left, I just cried myself to sleep. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius, and he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. I'll go to car dealerships or uh, do what I call a balloon rescue. When they set them out early in the morning, they're really beautiful. And as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull, uh, misshapen. I feel, you know, like I give him a second chance at life. But Julius doesn't just share his extreme love for balloons with many people. The only people that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange, but she accepts it. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret uh, definitely points to there is a, uh, a problem. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons. It's not hurting anybody. It's not dangerous. And I have no desire to change. Uh, all right. That was just, all right. That's just, that was weird. Little something different. That was weird. The weirdest one would probably either, probably be the inflatables. And the least, they're all like, they're just all weird. Some strange addictions on from 
the TV show My Strange Addiction on TLC. Thanks for watching. Comment down below which one you think was the strangest, and subscribe.